Okay, my outstanding friends, we're going to be looking into this cave. This was by Water Skipper, and um, this is Hercules Leg and Juniper Cave, Video 1, Part 16. Where do you see this cave? Now, I'm going to tell you what's going on here in a second, but just let's take a look at it. <laughs> look at that. I'm disappointed I haven't seen any bats yet today. Outside I saw some wildlife. I saw three deer, a whole bunch of different birds. I think I only saw one bug. All right, that's enough for right now. You see all that patterning? And this cave has like a bazillion different tunnels that go off this way and that way all over the place. And I can tell you exactly what it is. I'll show you what it is. All right, my friends, that's what you see inside that cave that this guy is walking through. Now, that is a vein. To the right is a uh, lymph node vessel, which also has valves, and the vein has valves. You see the valves? And the artery has no valves. The artery blood can go in way, this way, that way, and it's very, very fluid. The, the, the vein blood is only allowed to go one direction back to the heart, because it's all used up. That's what these valves are for. You see these little valves, that little pinchy valve there, and the valves here that only go one way. This goes this way, that way, any way you want. Now, before we go much further here, I want to I want to thank Water Skipper here for all. He's this is uh, dangerous stuff he's doing, and this is stuff that really needs to be seen. We need to really do some investigation. The things that have been just overlooked and missed, and just it's not allowed to be seen. It's just not acceptable anymore. Now let's just watch this. Cool nooks and crannies. <clears throat> Look at how many different passageways. Wow. Look how rough this wall is. This is an impressive looking wall. <clears throat> now that might be Alrighty. a valve. Well, I don't know. Good to know. I really haven't seen too many what I could consider valves, and I, though I did see one I thought looked like a valve. But you can see, this is just arterial or vein network or whatever. But you see, that's probably a loose junction right up. there. You see that? That's, that's going to filter something through out. Normally, you have tight junctions. Way through there, I'm going to stay to the right, so... Go over here. You see how many pass? Look at them. They go this right way. Down here in the middle. That's exactly what you right would down, see. Excuse me. On the right. In our artery, our, our, our blood vessels. You're going to see some really strange stuff coming out of here. If you look at the very texture of this, very, very interesting. Look at how many passageways there are. Okay. So look at this. There's another way through there. I could have come through. <laughs> they go everywhere. So this is another pillar. That's the way it came down. These are all tight junctions. That's how pretty the ceiling is. Ooh, ah. Uh -huh. Now, wait do you see the, okay. the surface of these cells. Notice how the walls have Look ridges here. Look at that. What are you looking at here? That is literally the way you transfer biology back and forth through these membranes. Look at that. Fascinating. Yes, it is fascinating, All my right. brother. Quite a bit of rough texture here. You see that? That's not just accidental, it's everywhere. I believe this must be a vein. But I don't see enough valves to really confirm that. You see all the tight junctions? Kind of disappointed I haven't seen any bats yet today. You see, you see, he'll, he'll find some places that we'll be able to Outside see. Outside I saw some wildlife. I saw three deer, a whole bunch of different birds. I think I only saw one bald eagle. But you see the stuff coming other down? It's leaking other out of the... A lot of the birds. I don't even know what they're called. You, well, I'll, hopefully he'll stop and find some here. This is just staggeringly large to be able for him to walk Little through dead these end blood over there. That's probably a valve. Oh, cool. I wonder if I can go up there. That could be a valve, too. 
But what if I should go there? Now, I'm just going to leave it at this for now. You come up and look at it. He's got he, he absolutely fabulous job. And I thank anybody that's doing research, that's trying to discover things that were not discovered before, that need to be discovered. To not look at things and, and to claim as a scientist is really disgraceful. And that is what I have discovered is um, scientists now are, their, their, their prime motivator is funding. So if you can, if you could just fluff things up and make it sound like you're really doing some work when you're doing nothing, you get funding. And that's how they're doing it now. Just, uh, science has become disgraceful. You know, I hate to keep going over the fact that scientists have just abrogated their duties. They just have dismissed anything that doesn't support what they say, and they have no interest in examining anything. As scientists, I find that literally disgraceful. And I have found that at every top major institution, 100% across the board. And I have just confronted some of the top universities, presidents, the whole nine yards. I said, this is you how you do science you will be held up as a disgrace because I will, I'm going to, I'm going to show the video, the uh, emails that I sent to all these people. I sent it to all the top admins and all the top universities, not a single response, not one. And I'm talking 10 years. Excuse me. <laughs> I hate to be so negative, but I'm, I'm telling you, I've become a little bit bitter. Ask your geology teachers about this. Ask them what, what caused that. Why is it like this? Ask your professors. Start asking questions. Because, and they'll tell you to just shut up and sit in the corner and read page 27. Okay. So, that's where I just was. I was up there. So, as you can see, if I knew what I was doing... Look at this. How, have one of your geology professors contact me and say, oh, I can explain this, Roger. Let's talk. I've contacted everybody, all the top geologists, all of them. I even contacted Intel. They're, they're writing special software to examine these things and try to figure out what they are. They have no clue even where to start. They think it's just sedimentation. It's really... Um, now, I'm hoping I'll hear back from Intel. I did. I heard back from the fellow that was making these claims, but all he said was go ahead and repost. They had they had blocked me originally. But it, I still haven't heard any, back any information about why they claim that everything is sedimentation. I claim no. It's not sedimentation. It's biology. Okay, I think I might have said before that the enzymes create the bacteria. It's obviously the bacteria create the enzymes. Enzymes are not living. They're products of bacteria and they are the proteins and the bacteria are the living organisms. So enzymes are non-living proteins. They're proteins but they're not alive. The bacteria are the living organisms that create those non-living enzymes. Enzymes work quickly to break waste down into smaller pieces. If you don't have those, you, your, your lymph nodes won't work, you won't be able to digest, you won't be able to break down the invaders and kill them. Your bacteria is your immune system. All right, my friends, this is, um, this is where we are going to be in the arteries, the veins, lymphatic vessels. It's one of those three. Now, this is how your arteries flow throughout your body. This is the veins in the blue. That is a lymph node, and we're going to go into enzymes and all that business. This is the three different types of tubing that's in your body, basically. And one of them to the left is an artery, and that goes any which way. The blood can go in, go out, backwards. The next one over to the right there is the um, vein. And the vein, you see those little tiny cells in there? That's what we're going to be seeing inside that cave, or we already saw it. But the vein only allows the blood to go one direction. There's clamps, so they can't go backwards. And the same thing happens in the lymph nodes, uh, lymph uh, um, ducts. But they have the only way, only the nasty stuff can go that way, cannot go back. The artery, everything's good. Go any way, any way you want. Now, I'm not sure what the cave is, which way 
he's going in a cave, whether it's an artery, a vein, a lymph node, I, I don't know. But um, these creatures were absolutely astronomically large. As you can see, these are the little blood vessels I just showed you. You need a very powerful microscope to see that. Okay, I want to teach you a little bit of biology while we're in here. You're going to see all those little black spots with the, the borders around them. Those are what's called endothelial adherence and tight junctions in these blood vessels. Now, endothelial cells lining the vessel walls, that's what we're looking at, the blood vessel walls, are connected by adherence, tight and gap junctions. Well, what does that mean, tight and gap junctions? You have to have tight so you can't get through there, but you have to have gaps so that the stuff you want to get through gets through there. Now, here's the key. Interendothelial junctions are composed of protein complexes. Well, what are protein complexes? They're created by bacteria and their enzymes, basically. This just, this just popped up a second ago. Shocking Yale research. Common nutrient found to aid survival of cancer-causing bacteria. The cancer causes bacteria that makes enzymes that hurt you. We have bacteria that create enzymes that help you. So bacteria works both ways. You have to have good and you have to have bad. And you will have good and bad both. Virtually everybody has both of them in their body. They have to be kept one working against the other to a balance. It's called homeostasis. It means your body can work with both of those and create health. Well, people's bacteria are shot. See this, Jesse, you're on Look at that. Those are the people that did my CAT scans. Very, very, very good, outstanding people to work with. They did the CAT scans. They did seven CAT scans for me at no charge. Very, very good people to work with. If you ever need anything CAT scanned, or, I mean, they do, a, they do really deep stuff. These guys are the best. They work for all the biggest companies in the world. All of the biggest companies in the world, and they they can have take car engines and, and and scan them and make sure everything's right in them, circuitry and all that stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. Now, just so I'm probably going to go through this whole book with people because they, they they seem to enjoy learning about the human body. A lot of this stuff almost is unknown, even to doctors. There's a lot of different types of tissues here, in digestive system you know, membranes, all of that. Now, from here we go to what I was talking about before, the enzymes. Here is where we really got to start looking. All right, in the, whoops, can you see that? No, probably not too well. All right, this is the pancreas. Now, well, what does the pancreas do? The pancreas is where you get all kinds of uh, enzymes. See, this makes enzymes, and it, it, all of these, this is very, very detailed and very deep. So there's a lot of work to do here to understand this, um, but it's, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> and very few people know how you, your body works. You just keep eating and going about your life. But there's a lot of things you can do to change the way your life works back for you. All right, there's a lot of bacteria in your body that is so critical to your health. It's just, and they, they don't really realize this yet. The bacteria is the only place you get enzymes. Just because this looks like it's doing a lot of work, it's not doing a lot of work. It's housing for enzymes and bacteria. Enzymes create the bacteria. You need a place for the enzyme and the bacteria to live and to thrive. You need to feed them correctly. You need to treat them with respect or they will turn against you violently. 